Hey, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. We're taking our devotional this morning at 1 Samuel 21, just two verses, 8 and 9. Let's read it. And David said to Ahimelech, Is there not here on hand a spear or a sword? For I have brought neither my sword nor my weapons with me, because the king's business required haste. So the priest said, The sword of Goliath the Philistine, whom you killed in the valley of Elah. There it is, wrapped in a cloth behind the ephod. If you will take that, take it, for there is no other except that one here. And David said, There is none like it. Give it to me. So we saw yesterday morning that David is fleeing from King Saul. He comes to the priest. Uh, he doesn't have any enough food, really. He's trying to get some food. And uh, But one thing that's going on in David's mind is what? He wants to get the sword of Goliath. That's very meaningful to him because he, of course, slew uh, Goliath here a few chapters back. And this was kind of his uh, entry into, into the picture, the big picture, where everybody took, stood up and took notice. And we saw that God was leading David at that time. David, this little David, stood up against the mighty Goliath and, of course, prevailed. So now David is leaving the kingdom. He uh, is, is unjustly being pursued, harassed, even persecuted. But he's going to take this one thing, which reminds him of, of what God did through him when he slew Goliath. And so David is, is reaching for a peace, a peace out of his life history, a peace where God was with him in a mighty way. He's going to take that with him and take it all along as he's trying to find his path now that he is, for no reason really, thrown out of Israel. A sad situation, and David is trusting back in something that at least has a connection with God. That's something important for us, for you and I, uh, to remember the ways that God has led us. Uh, we may not have the sword of Goliath uh, nearby, but uh, some ways that God has led us, it's important to remember those things and stand on those things. God will be our helper, but we want to keep in mind his, deliverance, his deliverances of us in the past. When David fought with Goliath, that surely was a divine deliverance. You've fought with the giants, I'm sure, as well. So have I. We have fought in spiritual terms at least. Uh, maybe you've never had a fight with somebody who's eight or nine feet tall, but, uh, but you have fought in spiritual terms with, against demons, against fallen angels who are not on your side. And through the strength of Jesus, you and I, no doubt, have also had occasions where we prevailed uh, victorious for the kingdom. And so we should remember those special victories, keep them in our memory, and David has the sword of Goliath to remind him, you know, of that time. We may have a Bible that we had in a Bible study or in a, in a great spiritual battle. Maybe there's a place where we prayed, uh, we prayed with a group of people, and we can go back to that place and remember, or a place where we were baptized. Uh, these aren't things that we're called to do by, by Scripture, but these sometimes might be things that are useful to us to remember how our God has led us. And so don't forget how God has led you. David, when everything else seems like it's going by the board, he remembers how the Father in heaven gave him victory over Goliath. You've had victories. You probably don't bring them to mind very often. But through the Lord Jesus, through his strength, not your own, you've had spiritual victories, and those should be remembered and you should look at those and say, praise to God, praise to the God of heaven. You have given me victory before, and you will give me victory again. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you that we can trust you. You are on our side. You want us to be successful. You want us to be victorious. Bless us and help us, Lord, as we are going forward. May we, may we remember the occasions, very explicitly remember the occasions where you have given us special victories on our pathway. Be our helper, Lord, in all these things. We thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So, I know you've had some victories. Go back and think about them a little bit and give thanks to the God of heaven. God be with you today.